It's been a minute since I've worn my full face helmet. Uh, feels kind of good. Actually washed out the pads, gave it a thorough cleaning as we are getting into fall. What is going on everybody? It is the Full Throttle Hog and today we are going to go over a quick way to wash your motorcycle and that's going to start right now. If this is your first time here, like I say welcome, thank you for stopping by. Thank you for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. Uh, if you're new to the channel, we talk about everything pretty much motorcycle related. Uh, we do product review, bike review, and we do a moto vlog or something I like to call a cine vlog where we try to bring you a little bit of a cinematic sequence for your viewing pleasure. Uh, I believe it adds a little bit of entertainment value. So as we just got back from Arizona Bike Week, I thought it'd be an appropriate time to talk to you about how I quickly wash my 2020 Road Glide Special, and this might work for you as well. So don't get me wrong, I believe that there is a uh, time and a place, and it's actually there's something a little maybe therapeutic about uh, you know spending a couple hours and detailing the bike, getting it nice and shiny, or if you have the ability to dish out some extra shekels, then you can go ahead and have uh, a professional detailer do it, which we might do in a couple weeks. But what happens in the interim? As we know, you know, we went on that, that long ride and you go through just different climates. And with that, you're going to go, and you know, we've all been there where you make a stop or you wake up the next morning and your, your windscreen, uh, the whole front fairing of your bike, your light, whatever is covered in bug guts. And as you all probably already know, those bug guts are terrible, terrible for the paint. The acid will actually uh, bake into the paint. So you wanna to try to get those off. So what is a quick way to wash the bike that's effective? And this is what I found to be, this is something that is called an e-cloth. So an e-cloth, and I'll put the uh, description down below. The e-cloth is a non-scratch microfiber cloth uh, that all you need to use is warm water. It actually does not want you to use any chemicals whatsoever while using the e-cloth. Pretty simplistic process. Uh, you basically take your bucket, and what I use um, is I have one of those screens at the bottom of my bucket that protects the, uh, you know, the dirty water and kind of separates it from the dirty water to the clean water. I think it's effective. But what you do is you fill your bucket with warm water, and this is great for travel. So when you are out on the road, uh, we actually did this on our Sturgis run. Uh, when you're out on the road, you stop at a hotel, you actually can uh, borrow the ice bucket and fill it up with warm water. You then take your e-cloth and you soak it inside said warm water. And the first thing I do is I go through and I just, uh, I use uh, more than enough water to wash uh, down the bike and scrub out any kind of, uh, you know, bugs that have been cooking on there for a little bit. Uh, you'll then re-rinse the e-cloth off and uh, you'll wring it out and try to get as much uh, that water out of there as possible. Then you re-wipe down the bike. Uh, I do it in sections at a time. I usually start in the front fairing, work my way around, and it's good on any surface possible. So uh, you re-wipe down the bike and the e-cloth acts as its own chamois. I have not had any problems and I will tell you, this is something that you can throw inside of your saddlebag, have it with you at all times. It's really effective. It's effective on your helmet. It's effective on the bike, but you pretty much go around your bike. And if you need to, you can uh, re-rinse it and reapply, but it will act as its own chamois. So we're gonna jam down the road here real quick, try to get a little bit of drone footage for you. And then uh, we'll finish up with the rest of the e -call. The other great thing about the e-cloth is sometimes when we're using pressure washers and uh, just water in general, you always want to be careful of like getting down in the fins, you know, having to blow that out with water always can be a little bit worrisome, especially with sensors and things like that, with technology and what have you. So uh, you want to be careful of things like that. That's why I enjoy doing the e-cloth in between the real deep detailing jobs that you would do on your bike. 
But if you're looking for a quick solution, the e-cloth is the way to go. The link is down in the description below. Don't forget, we come out with a video every single Monday. If you like the content, go ahead and give it a like. Leave me a comment down below on what your quick wash methods are if you don't use the e-cloth or if that's something you're planning on doing. We will catch you next Monday. Thank you.